What's up with the dude with the toad? I know it's a terrible intro, right? Yeah, whatever, it's video time. Anyways, as the patch goes on, fuck, that just turned on, that's in the video. It's going in. As the patch goes on, slowly I might add, I find that some people don't know what weapons are great to choose and why you would choose them, especially in the AK series. For the most part, AKs don't have a bad variant, however there are some that I would prefer over others. Starting off, we'll talk about the AKMS. The AKMS has the ability to use the 7.62 rounds, which is just a powerhouse round, for the early game especially. The cheap PS rounds at about 80 rubles per shot, which is dirt cheap. And the modding for the weapon isn't that bad. I mean, for an AKMS, it's, it's a bit more expensive than usual, but it's still pretty good. I recommend the AKMS personally, I like it. And if it's no attachments, too much recoil, Flick it on semi-auto, you have a, pretty much a 30 round SKS. In, in the AK-74 series, this includes the AK-74N, M, and other variants such as the MN, very creative, right? Uh, most people will use these and you will find them throughout the wipe as you go on. They are one of the most common AKs used, especially into late game. And they do have the ability to be modded fairly easily, and they are plentiful. You will find them everywhere. You can find them on scavs, you can find them as loot drops, and weapon crates, spawns everywhere. I found a couple inside the market room, for God's sakes, and sold them for like 30k a piece. They're, they're pretty cheap, to be honest with you. Uh, the, the only reason that you would use these, mainly, is that the modding is cheaper than even the AKMS. Alright, upon review, I do think that people would rather run most of these AK-74s and the AK-100s because they are very well made, they are very good, the modding's pretty cool, you can add a lot more attachments than the AKMS, which just adds a lot more flexibility to the weapon overall, and I do believe that while the AKMS is a higher powered round, it might be worth your time to pick up the AK-100s, the AK-74s more. Though I still do like the AKMS for the ability to run the PS rounds, the BP rounds, the 7.62s, you know. Even no matter where you go, you're not making a bad choice at this point. You run an AK-74, an AK-100 series weapon, I recommend getting either BS rounds for about 450 rules a piece, which I mean, that's one of the main reasons why I don't recommend these right away. Or you can use the BT rounds, 250 rubles a piece, half the price, really good penetration. In the early game, it'll penetrate those three class armors. That's what you need for the early game if you are running an AK-74. Like most of the AKs you find on scabs, I would recommend if it's an AKMS, pick it up. But if it's an AK-104, AK-74, AK-105, anything like that, don't pick it up because it's probably going to be using the PS rounds, which are trash. In the AK-100 series, uh, they're just mainly a really well-designed weapon because they only take about four to five slots vertically instead of the usual five to six the AK-74s can. It's just a more compact sort of AK-74, but I'm still going to take the chance to explain about the ammo, where it's like five, four, five rounds have only like two to three really good variants that you can use at a you know higher level, going through level two, three, four armors, maybe four is like where you start to kind of fall off on them, especially. But they're not, eh, you know, they're not bad, but they're not like the best. If you want to run something really high penetration, especially late game, you got to run the M4 or the HK. And the, the BT and BS rounds are your only go-tos I would recommend, but it's still pretty okay. Again, most of these AKs are great for budget runs or scav killing loadouts because, I mean, Interchange, kill 25 scavs, that's fairly accomplishable with just an AK-104, an AK-74, NM, whatever. Or even, if you want to go super budget, just run an SKS. You'll be able to do it that way too. And the SKS, I feel like, will give you a higher percent chance to kill an actually like armored up opponent, you know? So I, I'm, I'm really feeling like that is just the way to go. I shit you not. In summation, if you do find an AK that can run 7.62 rounds, I would recommend that one more than anything. But if you have to ha run like an AK-100, AK-74, again, I've been referencing these two a lot, just, I, I hope you check the mags and see what kind of ammo you're working with so you need to, so you know if you need to go leg meta or not. Because it can save your life to know, to know you need to just hit leg, hit arm, whatever. But if it's an AK and a hunter you're in between, I would take the hunter and the reason why is for another video and I'll see you later.